Hello everybody. This is part four in my four part series on my plans and planners for 2018. I've done my personal everyday carry planner. I've done my memory keeping planner. And now I'm doing my um, A5 planner, which I use to, to um, keep track of everything. But I also am doing the getting things done um, or GTD system by David Allen in this. And I've been doing that for six months maybe and it's really working so I'm going to continue with that there are a few things I'm changing up and I'll let you know about that but if you have not read David Allen's getting things done book you really should it's a great book okay so he recommends you have an inbox I have both a physical and this one right here that's in my planner where I jot things down as they come to me or pull them from my personal planner if I've jotted down some notes when I've been out of the house Maybe some stuff I've put in my purse and I want to look at that and what do I need to do with it. And also things for my physical inbox, bills, whatever that I need to process. And I do that on a weekly basis. So inbox, from inbox, you move your things to the next action pages. And mine are split up home, personal, um, home, personal, phone, computer, office, that kind of thing. Those are actions I will do when I'm in those places. Okay, then I have my project pages. And I have a project list here of what's current or in the near future. And I'll show you the blank pages. They're nothing fancy. I just made them on my computer. But this would be the project name, start date, hopeful end date, and then all the tasks you, I need to do. Support items I may need, location that I th this is going to happen which is usually home, but something might, and when we go on a cruise, of course that's different, the cruise itinerary. And then notes down here. And then I keep the backs blank because I like to write, like for instance with our cruise, this is the back of that page. These are, this is the itinerary for the cruise, so I have that information. But these blank pages are for when I finalize my goals for 2018. I will do quarterly project pages for each of those goals. And then I have a reference section, which is pretty much business related, a someday section where I just dot, jot down things I may want to do in the future. Okay, I'm not going to go through the whole GTD system because I have done that before, and I may do a sort of walk you through a weekly review um, next year. So that's one of my plans. Okay, so first I have the blank monthly calendar, and I filled it the January one in with all the important dates for my family and when I'm going to be out of town that kind of thing. Then after my monthly, I have these new pages. I have some budget page pages and fitness pages. So this monthly budget, I really like this. I found it on Etsy and I will link below to the woman's shop of where I purchased it. This is just one of the pages in the bundle that you get. Um, so this, this will be a recap of the whole month. And each month is going to have this page right there front and center. And this is my savings tracker, so it's got each month of the year. And this will likely move month to month, so I can keep track each month, and, and it's right there for me to remember to do that. Okay, this is this month's fitness. This came from a different shop, and I'll link her shop also. Start weight, end weight, my measurements in all the different areas I measure. Fitness goals, which I won't have five each month, but anyway. Reward, and a recap and notes section. So those are really nice, I think. I think she did a good job planning everything you'd need to keep track of. This is my weight loss tracker. And I this will likely last for more than, you know, I weigh in every Monday. So I'll carry this on to the next month, too, because I'm not going to need all these spots for a month. So here's some weight loss goals, some fitness goals. I don't know that I'll rewrite those here, but I might. Strength tracker. This is... Um, the day I go to the gym, which exercise I did, or which machine I used, um, the time I did it, the weight I used, the reps, and the sets. And I'd really like to start keeping track. As I get stronger, I'm noticing I'm doing more and more, but I, I have, I'm not keeping track of the evolution of it. And I think that will really help me keep motivated. Okay, so each week is going to start with the weekly budget sheet. And this information will help me determine the uh, monthly sheet, the monthly budget. Okay, so I've got this whole thing here at the beginning of each week, and I've now started using daily pages. 
So what I do with these daily pages is the morning of, when I get up and get this planner, I'm going to look at all my next actions. I'm going to look at my project pages. Um, and then I'm going to decide what I need to do this week or this day. You know, what are my top three things that I really want to get done? Am I going to the gym this day? Which usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, but I, I will definitely do my weekly review on Mondays and I will definitely weigh in. So I already have those down for every Monday. But the sheets are really nice. I think these are by Carpe Diem. You can buy them in a package. And I really like those. And then again, the next week, there's the pages and the weekly budget. So that's how I'm changing things up right now. I will um, re I will go over everything in January and see if, how it's changed, how it's evolved once I've got my goals set in here. I'm really looking forward to finalizing my goals and getting them set up in here on project pages. But that's it. This is my A5 GTD system. And I hope you all have something in place for next year of how you're going to keep yourself organized, on track, and everything. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy planning.